Indeed, this is where we need to be. Okay, the tea room. Welcome back to Sugata 3, everybody. Back in the tea room. And there's my homies. What up, homies? So, you had no hand in this massacre, Boris? Definitely not. I swore by my sword, sir. Better not have ripped that blonde hair right out your damn skull, bitch. Boris, I believe your word and apologize for even suspecting you. I hope you will forgive me. You better, otherwise I'll chop your head off. In all that confusion, it was difficult to get a clear picture of what was happening. Regardless, we can't let wild rumors spread and cause unnecessary commotion. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. A thousand pardons, my lady. We shouldn't be at each other's throats, wildly speculating. It's understandable. I guess so. Milady, I... Boris, I know you can't lie, can you? No, my lady, I swear. Milady, there is a summons from the council regarding yesterday's cancellation of the treaty negotiations. Well, well, news travels quickly. I'll take Boris and Louis. Salami and Roland, you stay here and keep an eye on the movements of the Grasslanders. As you wish, my lady. What a relief. I do not particularly care for Bene del Sexe. You mean just me and Boris are going? Excuse me, I must prepare for the trip. I will meet you at the gate. Alright. I'll see you there, I guess. Huh. I've been too hard on Boris. Yeah, he deserved it. He deserved every little bit of that shit. Don't even worry about it. He's a hothead. Hotheads need to be put in their place sometimes, even if they didn't really do anything wrong. Sometimes... They just need to be told, hey, watch yourself, bitch. Fucking, fucking around and she, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, there's not much we can do here around here at the moment. I mean, unless you really want to level up your, your, your Chris a little bit. But Chris leveled up by herself, kind of pointless. Um, wait, hold on. I see some people over here that weren't here before. Do you see them? Do you recognize them? Madam, I, we heard about Miriam and Lanchet. If only we'd returned to the brass... Uh, what was his voice before? If only we returned to the brass castle earlier, we could have saved our men. What a shame. We lost valuable knights. It's more deeper, right? Like that. I... If I hadn't gone after that rat... What rat? That's... Huh? What rat are we talking about? <laughs> it's a sorry story. Lord Leo still can't get over losing the sight of that rodent. Uh, rodent? You mean literal rodent? What are we talking about here? Um, do they join or what? 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 Where do they go? They well, can't get over. What? What are we talking about? Rodents? Why are we talking about rodents? Stop talking about rodents. Okay, so Leo and Percival are around. That's cool. Where are we supposed to go? Over here. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go specifically. Now that Leo and Percival are there, am I supposed to go talk to uh, whatever? Uh, Salami? Wait, hold on. This is the trader guy, right? No. The trader's actually outside by the gate. I don't think that uh, there's anything to sell to them. What do I have in my inventory? Hold on. Hold the phone. What do we have? I got some healing items. I got a grape sea. I don't even remember why I have the grape sea. I know we need it for something, but I don't remember what. Either way, okay, this is not the direction we need to go. I'm not entirely sure where we need to go. Do we need to go talk to Boris first? Let's go find. Let's go see if Boris is by the gate that he said he was going to be by. Pretty sure our plan is to go back to the Vendano Sex A because the council summoned us. We need to go talk to them. So that's what we need to do right now. If you were wondering what our overall plan is, but sometimes it's hard to figure out exactly what we're supposed to be doing first and I think Boris should be yeah here we go Boris yo 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 lady are you all set um can you wait for a moment Boris can you wait for a moment yes my lady okay I know what we're, I, I I know what I wanted to do now so now that Leo and Percival are here I believe we can get them in our party and you have to do it the same way you did it earlier when you put Boris and Roland in your party. You just gotta go talk to Mr. Mr. Salami. Apparently he's our party manager, at least for the moment. 
I think that's what we need to do. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you can get Leo and Percival in the party. If you can't, well, so be it. But I was pretty sure you can, unless you're just supposed to leave and they join as you leave. I know I'm kind of spoiling it, but maybe you don't need to get them. I don't know. Maybe you're just supposed to see them and then you move on. I don't know. Let's find out. Is Salami in here? He is. Can we make a party? Yeah, you think. I'll make a party while you think, sir. Um, no. There's nobody available. Well, then. I was wrong. You don't actually have to get Percival and Leo. Why the fuck did I write in my notes, get Percival and Leo? I must have just glossed over the fucking guide that I was looking at and was like, oh, get Percival and Leo and move on. I, I don't, yeah, I, I write a very shorthand guide, so sometimes my guide is not perfect. I should, I really should read the guides that I'm using to help me more thoroughly so I know exactly. Because usually my notes are a good way to just kind of joggle my brain so I know exactly what I need to do. And so I'll just kind of remember as I do it. But in this case, I wrote it down as get per Leon Percival. Maybe I do get them when I leave. I don't know. We'll find out. But let's get the hell out of here and we'll find out. Maybe they'll show up as we leave. All set. Let's go. I'm ready. Shall we go? Certainly. Let's get started. Just you and me and no other people with nothing to do. Nothing to lose. <laughs> Boris. Don't mind me. I'll be fine. I swear. I swear. Okay. I believe you for now. In the meantime, you follow the rear. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna fucking. I'll lead the charge, and we'll we'll run this shit. All right. Back on our high horse. Let's get out of here. We. I like riding the horse. It's fun. It's fun. It's real good. All right. So we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Roland, my beloved homeland. I hope everyone there is enjoying a quiet, peaceful life. His homeland. Now, he's an elf. If you've played Sukadin 1 or know anything about it, you know that the elf homeland is down there in the Toran Republic from Su Sukadin 1. Well, it's known as the Toran Republic now. It wasn't known as the Toran Republic when we played Sukadin 1. It was the Scarlet Moon Empire. But it became the Toran Republic afterwards. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert from two games ago. Anyways, here we are in Zexan Forest, just riding on through once again. Oh, 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 make sure you grab the thing. Never skip the thing. Well, you can skip the thing if you want. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I like grabbing the things with Chris because we're almost done with her chapters. We're going to have a short chapter on our hands, I think. Unless we just fight a bunch of battles and shit and don't cut any of it, which I probably will do. Because <laughs> for literally, we're, we're once we get back to Vinny and Sexy, this chapter is all but over. All we gotta do is talk to the council, and I believe that will end the chapter. So prepare for that. <laughs> Short but sweet. I know, but that's just the way that things go. That's cool. I mean, the more progress we make in this game, the better. This is a pretty long game, so every time we get a little bit further, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, let's pick those herbs, though. Yeah. Give me some of them herbs, though. Yeah, give me those Asian herbs, baby. I'm going to sell that shit for some months later. Much later. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know one thing I didn't do? No, oh, hold on. We got we got a, a checkpoint cut scene here. Hey, look, I remember these guys. We've seen them before. Uh, Master Fred, really? Let's take a break for a bit. Please, Master Fred. <laughs> <coughs> you just don't get it, do you, Rico? If we rest even for a moment, evil will prevail. Don't ever forget that, kid. I won't, Master, really. Okay. Okay. Who's this Fred fella? Fred Fox? Looking for something? Uh, I don't know. Are you looking for something, Mr. Fred? Your armor! I suppose you are Zexan Knights. You are quite right. And who might you be? Allow me, madam. Fred Maximilian, the captain of the Maximilian Knights, at your service. Well, we met this guy before on Hugo's chapter. Uh... He told me he was part of the Maximilian Knights or the Captain. He might have said the Captain last time, too. Maximilian Knights. You should recognize the name of the Knights. There may have been a guy named Max Maximilian. 
Or was his first name just Maximilian? I can't remember now. Anyway, there's a guy named Maximilian in Sukaden 2 who was the leader of the Maximilian Knights. Could this man be related? Tisk tisk, we will find out. Or grandfather, maybe. I came from afar to carry out my grandfather's wish to conquer evil. I would like to learn anything you know that could help me. Okay, conquer evil, huh? Where's the evil? I am Chris Lightfellow of the Zexan Knights. Nice to meet you, sir. What do you mean, conquer evil? Do you know anything about this, Boris? I'm afraid not, my lady. It seems he calls himself a firebringer, and his master is said to be the flame champion, an ex knight who crossed over to the evil side. Huh. That's some interesting stuff. Flame champion? What, what are we talking about here? Flame champion? You are talking about olden times. I only heard about the flame champion from my grandmother when I was a child. When Lord Boris was a boy. What are you thinking, Lewis? Uh, nothing, sir. He was going to make fun of Boris when he was a kid. Sorry we couldn't be more help. Quite all right. Sorry to have bothered you. I wanted to give him a little more, a little more flamboyant voice since Max was a quite energetic motherfucker back in Sugaden 2. Rico, it seems we are off track. Let's head further north. Okay, then. Yes, sir. Yes. But can we rest for a few seconds? Evil never takes a day off. We'll be off then. Safe travels to you. All right. Well, safe travels to you. Sir, wait. Just a minute. I'm coming. Wait for me. God damn it, Rico. You're going to be a squire. You got to step your game up, player. I hope you, you find what you seek. Me too. Me too. And yes, of course, as you already could probably suspect, that won't be the last time we see Fred and his little companion Rico. Duh. As that, if, if that really had to be said. As it, but I don't I feel the need sometimes, you know? These are different kind of beetles, aren't they? These are all green and stuff. I don't remember fighting these spark beetles before. We fought some red ones, right? These are new. These are some new sparky-ass green beetles. Yeah, they're definitely new. Yeah, and they level my ass up, too, so that means they're definitely new. Anyway, what I was going to talk about before I get interrupted by Fred Fox over there is that there are, um, there is an item box that we can actually drop items into for later so we can you know, come back and get them later. And it works kind of like Resident Evil, where if you put your items into, like, a storage, later there's your main storage that you get, like in any stupid game, and you can always get your items from that storage no matter what storage you put it into. Needless to say... Why, why am I in this needless to say cake, by the way? I've been saying needless to say way too much lately. Before we get back to Vinando Sexy, though, I believe the place to store stuff is actually in Brass Castle? Don't quote me on that. I think it is. I should have used it a little bit. It's not a big deal that I didn't because my inventory is not full. I have plenty of medis medicines we can just get rid of if we need to. But anyway... Just know that there is an item box to store. I think it's in Brass Castles. Look around for it a little more. I didn't look very hard for it because I didn't really need to store anything. But if you want to, you can, and you can get access to those items from any of the item boxes throughout the game. Just so you guys know. It's funny. When we left the other day, I had no idea we'd ba be back so soon. Or this soon, whatever. It really has been only a few days, huh? Lady Chris, you live here, yet you don't care for Vinay del Sexe? Yes, Lewis. The city is a little stifling at the moment. Do you feel more at home on the battleground? You can't be comfortable at the Brass Castle with all those ruffians around. Actually, neither is that bad. That's our goddess of the battleground. Let us be blessed with continuous good fortune in combat. Oh, Boris. <laughs> what was funny about that? At any rate, this summons... Yes, this summons. I know that I am to blame. I shall not avoid punishment. Wait, why are, you, why are you being punished? Damn it! What if the council knew about it? That's true. What if they knew about this whole thing? Don't say anything, Boris. Or don't say anything, Boris. You hold your goddamn tongue, Boris. You let the fucking... You let the adults talk about what's going on. You sit back and relax. Let's go talk to this council. We'll see if it was smart of us to come here by ourselves. Meaning just Chris and Boris. And Lewis. Too many S's. Chris, Boris, Lewis, Salome. Leo and Percival. Yeah, Leo and, and Roland. The only two that get to escape the S's. 
Um, is there anything else we want to do here in town before we go to the council building? Probably not, but maybe. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to rack my brain. Is there any armor at the armory, maybe? I kind of want to... I, f I feel like there's something that I missed here when I was here originally. Because I feel like there's something you can only do when you're the knights of Zexin. That you can only do here when you're them. If you're anybody else, you won't be able to do that stuff. But I can't remember. It's not coming back to moi. Let's go into the armor shop and see if the armor has anything different than I was thinking that he might have last time. Lightning armor and new armor? Ooh, those both sound badass and I might buy them. Um, yeah, see, he doesn't have shit. He just has the rarities, which are actually badass rarities. No lightning leather, huh? Tempting to buy it. Um, wait, neither of them can equip this? Oh, they both have it already. But who needs new armor when you already have it? Duh, I didn't even realize they already had it. Lightning leather, that sounds badass. I would I wanna buy both of these, but I don't think I need to. Let me scroll on my notes real quick to see if there's any of this stuff I should have bought and I just didn't. I don't think so though. Yeah, none of this stuff did I need. I don't know why the hell. He either just only sells the stuff that I wanted through rarities and we were just hoping that he had it. Or I'm tripping and there's another armor right here. Man, I should like I said, I should have made some better notes for this game, man. I make two shorthanded notes sometimes, and I, even I can't figure this shit out. Anyway, let's just go to the damn council and get this shit over with. Let's let's see what these bitches are going to bestow upon my ass. These motherfuckers. You know it's not going to be good. Not if they wanted me to do this treaty. By the way, Melville and his friends are over here just chilling. We should talk to them for a second. Ooh, ooh, Lady Chris, I, we, uh, you keep up the good work. Yeah, okay. Stop staring at her ass as she walks away. Ah, oh, Lady Chris, uh, my name is Elliot. I'm very good at smelling things. Okay, yeah, like beans. Hello, Lady Chris. Melville's so nervous. He's such a fan of yours. Come on, then, shake hands. Okay. Thanks for telling me what to do, little girl. How dare you? I am Chris, leader of the fucking Zexan Knights. How dare you? Lady Chris, let me guide you. This way, madame. Madam. All right, guys. This way, something bad may come. The council has taken me to their church, apparently. Please wait here. We will call you once everything is ready. Okay. Civil servant. I'll kick the civil servant in his nuts. Balderdash. Again, I wait. And they were the ones summoning me. Yeah, see what I mean? These council guys are douche cakes. They like to make people wait. Instead, I'll just wait here in the church. Fuck you, buddy. How long must I wait? First, back... Uh, flashback, sorry. I was like, backflash! <laughs> it's anger towards Boris and the other knights. I mean, it wasn't like he was... Could it have been meant for me? Well, shit, he was about to stab you in the back if you didn't spin around and chop him. Duh. 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 Should I have questioned my dedication to protecting the Zexan people? No, protecting people is a good thing. No matter what. No, I knew I'd face this animosity when I chose the life of a knight. Damn right. Gonna be the law enforcement. Gotta take the scrutiny that goes along with it. Simple as that. I am a Zexan knight through and through. For now. For now. Ciao for now. Someone stop playing the organ. Could it be Neck Lord? No, no Neck Lord. Sorry. That song is over. We are ready to proceed. This way, madam. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Time to take an ass reaming of a lifetime from the shitty council. Is there anything wrong? Nothing at all. No, thank you. I was just absorbed in my thoughts. Bitch, don't fucking turn your head at me like that. Absorbed in thought? Yes, I was thinking of what I could do for Zexin. Surely you jest. I know of no one more dedicated than you. 
Dedicated Zex in the new. Uh, true. But does the council agree? Let's find out. I appreciate that. Let's see if your little council fucking doesn't try to play games with my ass. You want me to prove my or you want me to move my army into the grasslands? Indeed we do. I don't know who's talking, so let's just do voices for what with whoever whatever. What was the point of the ceasefire with the grasslanders? Why were the Zexan Knights last brought to battle? It was of the enemy who first breached the agreement. Was it not? I don't know. I can't tell. In any case, the negotiations were meant as a tactical delay. That's all. Oh, God damn it! You knew they were bullshit. We need enough time for the Zexan Knights to regain their strength after losing both the captain and the vice captain. Now we have you as the head of the knights, Lady Chris. Okay. I guess that's cool. I heard that you burned down a crime village when you six clans of the grasslands. Sorry, I had to yawn badly there. That was quite an accomplishment. It should be highly com It should be commended that we burned down a village. Yes, thank you. Oh, so fucking commendable. It was my only recourse. It had to be done to protect our knights. All the villains who enhanced the reputation of the Silver Maiden, who saved her army from danger and exterminated the barbarian village. This will be heard of even as far as the Holy Harmaria and Dunan. Um, Harmonia? You should have heard of that by now. We may even get to hear more about it in this game. I don't know. Possibly. Dunan? I believe Dunan is... What is Dunan? Or Dunan? I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on where Dunan, Dunan is. I know which part of the world it is in like comparison to the rest of the game. But remember, we are we've been to the Grasslands and we're in Zexin. I haven't really talked about this yet, have I? No, I haven't. The Grasslands, if you recall, are north of Tinto City from Sukunin 2. I haven't I don't think I brought that up yet. So we're technically just like northwest ish of Sukunin 2 in our current area, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of picture the Zuka 2 map in your brain and kind of go, okay, we're up over here in the northwestish. So, anyway, Dunan. I'll have to get back to you on what Dunan is, but hopefully I remember to get back to that. If, you, if I don't, somebody asks me in the comments, so I remember to answer it. I do not seek glory for such a deed. The attack on the Korean village was only intended to rescue our men. It was not an act of bravery. Damn right it wasn't. Do not be so modest. We value your accomplishment very highly. You stand against the barbarians gives credence to your value as a white hero. Racist? I don't want to be the white hero. Can't you see? The, this current state of confusion within the crying forces offers us a great opportunity to what? To what? Our job is to protect the Zexans and their land. If the council wishes to invade another land, do so with your own combat teams. Oh, get wrecked, bitch. By weakening the grassland forces, you will try to strike to the Zexans, do you not? I might also add that this is a council decision. It's your duty to serve our will. Bitch, please. I serve my own will, son. Can we expect you to return immediately to the Brass Castle and begin your operations, Captain? Oh, Captain, my Captain. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a defiant yes, sir, if you ask me. Let me give thanks to our goddess for allowing us this occasion to gather here today. Fuck you and your goddess. Let me give thanks to our goddess for allowing us the occasion to gather here today. And for this blade I'm about to chop all of you to death with. No, sorry. That's what I, that's what I wish she did right now. Just fucking pull that sword out and end all of the council so this bullshit does not have to continue. The council of seven. The seven assholes. Alright, well, we're done with that conversation. Done, done, and done. Looks like they didn't fucking do anything bad to me after all. No consequences. At least not specifically to, like, something I did wrong. Milady, how did the summons go? They formally promoted me to captain for burning down the Korean village, and to celebrate the promotion, we were ordered to attack the Lizard Clan. Bullshit. Uh oh. Are we leaving for Brass Castle immediately? It's too late to travel today. We'll sleep here and embark at first light. Yes, milady. Let me walk you home. Alright, well, home we go then. Do you know where Chris's home is? Well, 
We, uh, did we start there in this chat? I don't remember. But we've definitely been there already, right? Anyway, we know we're fucking the Lightfellow houses. We've been there, done that. Let's just take Chris home. Take it home. This, this is actually going to end up being a reasonably length episode now that I realize how much talking we had to do and how much walking around I wasted time on. Good night, Lady Chris. Shall I call for you in the morning? Not necessary, but thanks, Boris. Take care of yourself. Don't drink too much tonight and oversleep. You can depend on it. I will behave myself. I swear it. I'll just get a little drunk, and I've definitely passed out, but I'll wake up early. I swear. I'll set the alarm clock. I'll wake up early. Or, you know what? Actually, instead, the whore I bang tonight, I'll make sure she wakes me up early in the morning. That's what I'll do. She'll be my alarm clock. Welcome home, Lady Cats. Hot water is prepared for your bath. I don't remember what voice I gave to this big motherfucker. I would have contacted you sooner, but I was called back at short notice. Not to worry, my lady. We are always here to serve you whenever the need. Phew. I'm terribly tired. Could you disrobe me, butler? If it's not too much of a bother, might you spare a few minutes, madam? Sure. What do you need? Question. What do you need? Ready, Chris. Uh oh. Look what it is! This coat of arms is. Yes, my lady, this belongs to the Lightfellow family. And. It is! It belonged to my dear father! I shall say, my lady. Where did you find it? A grassland boy brought it here in your absence. Don't worry. He was paid fairly for his efforts. No, he wasn't. He didn't take any of your money because he's a proud Karayan warrior. Liar. A boy from the grasslands? Yeah, the one you murdered. Well, one of the ones you murdered, at least. All right, guys, that does it. That was Chris Chapter 2. Where are we at on time? Per almost perfect. That was actually a pretty good, pretty good place to stop. I would give you a nice little fucking sneak preview of Ghetto over here. But I think I'm going to fucking cliffhang you instead. In the next episode of Let's Play Sukuna 3, we will start the third... I don't even know what to call these guys. The third fucking hero of the fire. <laughs> hero of fire. Whatever. The third damn story. We're going to start chapter one of Ghetto. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!